So Chester, what I want to do is give you a cake. Please don't eat it. Don't take my cake from me. So now it's inside him, guys. And when I get hungry, I can check Chester again. And my cake, you ate it. You ate my cake. Why do you do that? What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today it's gonna be a mod showcase on the Chester mod And this is based on the game don't starve I haven't personally played it guys, but after seeing Chester and how epic he is I might have to try it out. I'm serious And basically what this mod does it adds in a chest that follows you around and the model is awesome It's kind of a small mod, but it's really cool So yeah, he follows you around you can store stuff in him and he looks so cool like this is like mod pack worthy guys It's why I'm reviewing it You might want to toss it in with a bunch of other mods because it's gonna work well and one cool thing only one recipe I hate like complicated recipes so this mod you need to make the eye bone and to craft it It's gonna be a bone and eye of ender and that is pretty much it So I'm gonna grab this and you just take it into your hand guys. It looks kind of cool I might as well show it. It's a small mod looks cool and I'm gonna right click the ground Chester has appeared look at that guys it's like a little chest he's got a giant tongue and he follows you around he's got feet he's got 20 health the dude is actually pretty like resistant to taking damage what are you doing right now it's freaking me out a little bit okay so let's take him bring him over here and you can see he follows you around it's really easy and when i right click him you're gonna notice he's got nine slots so it's kind of like a crafting table but this is not a crafting table guys you can store stuff in here and he does have like an animation and a sound for like, you know, when it opens. So I'm not going to talk for a second so you can hear it. Pretty cool, right? I love the sound effect. And you can actually like see his mouth opening like for half a second. It's really hard to see. But I'm trying to show it to you guys right now. So Chester, what I want to do is give you a cake. Please don't eat it. Don't take my cake from me. So now it's inside him, guys. And when I get hungry, I can check Chester again. And my cake, you ate it. You ate my cake. Why do you do that? Seriously, he eats a couple items. Some of them are pretty funny. I've noticed he eats a chest and he eats a cake. And other than that, pretty much everything has been okay. Like, I can put some carrots in. He doesn't want that. Bread. Sponges. I can put, like, my armor and weapons and stuff like that, too. And it seems to be fine. I assume, like, all modded items would be okay, too. So, chest. Last time I put one in, he actually ate that. Oh, you didn't eat it that time. You didn't eat the chest. Awesome. I think there's a couple items he's programmed to eat sometimes. Cake is one of those, but most stuff is going to be fine. But yeah, he follows you around. And just keep that in mind when you're using him, guys. Don't put cake in there. Cake is too valuable to put in Chester. He might consume it. So yeah, everything is still in here. You could like take it out, spread it out, have full stacks of stuff too. And all of it should be stored here just fine. And guys, one cool thing about this mod is there is a secret. Normally, like mod creators do not keep secrets. But this time they did. They wouldn't tell anyone how to upgrade him. And actually, guys, I have figured it out. So don't tell anybody. I'm going to show like 500,000 people right now. Anyways, so guys, if you want to upgrade Chester, this is what you have to do. But shh, don't tell anybody, all right? Fill him up with diamonds like this. And bam, you can upgrade him. It only took me like five minutes to figure this out. So upgrade. And now he's changed colors. And Chester is much improved. So now he's got like a bunch of different slots. He's got 12 instead of 9, so it's kind of cool. He's like a better version of Chester. He's got the same amount of health, but you can just store more stuff. So I thought it was a cool feature. I like how it was a secret, but now it's probably not a secret anymore, thanks to me. So sorry about that, mod creator. But I feel like everyone should know how to upgrade Chester. So what I did for this, guys, it's a short review. So I made like a little Chester obstacle course to show you exactly how resistant he is. So lava isn't going to feel too good for most people. But Chester, come on, Chester, just jump in. It's going to be fine. Seriously, I can't even get him to... Okay, there we go. So, Chester not taking damage, guys. He is resistant to fire. So, if you're in a cave or something with Chester, don't worry. He's going to be perfectly fine. He's kind of on fire, but he's, he's not taking any damage, which is cool. Okay, so now I'm going to bring him down here. Fall damage. Just fall in. I might just push him in. All right, go down. And, yeah, he takes no fall damage either. So, yeah, going in caves and stuff like that is going to be awesome with Chester. He's going to be able to survive everything. All right, so let's try to get him out of here and towards the water. So Chester should teleport over in a second. All right, there he is. Perfect. So really cool. He hasn't taken any damage yet. And now I want to get him like underwater and show that he can't drown. I hope he can't drown. All right, he seems fine. So I'm just going to leave him here for a minute, guys. We'll see what happens. Make sure he doesn't like drown or something like that. And you know what's interesting? He doesn't take fire damage, but he's like made of wood. At least I assume that's what he's made of. It's pretty funny. Chester is actually drowning right now, but he can't take damage, so he is a beast. Like, 
All this stuff, it would kill me, but luckily Chester is a monster. So let's get him out of here. Let's bring him away from the water. Teleport over. All right, there he is. So a couple things can hurt him. Keep that in mind. If you stab Chester, I already have a sword, so what am I doing? I've got a sword already. It hurts him. Don't stab Chester, guys. The only way to heal him, I think, at the moment is going to be with, like, a splash potion of healing. You can't heal him any other way. You don't give him, like, wood. I don't, I don't know how that would work. If I give him this, it's going to heal him back up, and he's back to 20 again. Just be careful, like, fighting and stuff. That's really the only way he's going to take damage at the moment. And fire, water, drops. He's going to be perfectly fine. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much all there is to show with this mod. As in Chester, an awesome chest that follows you around with a really cool model. And you can store stuff in him and even upgrade him too. Kind of give out the secret today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.